Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Loading. In this episode, we're gonna revisit um, an old um, problem. Uh, it's, a, it's a way we can post bone using animation nodes. Um, actually, I've done this in the past where I'm using script nodes to do the bone posing using animation nodes. And uh, there's also one tutorial that's using Scratchalk. Scratchalk is really, really good when you're using a lot of bones and I think using object ID, get and set in Spreadshop is actually kind of uh, clear enough and you can work that way. But there's also an, another method here. Um, Jack's look actually uh, give this example uh, not long ago, actually just a few days ago. And then in this case, I'm using animation nodes and basically here, what's going on is if I make it full screen, it's gonna be like in full speed. This is animation nodes um, expression, kind of uh, doing the job. And it comes to my surprise that this expression actually kind of powerful. Um, I didn't know that this expression nodes and you put it inside the group nodes, it's become a single node that can drive all these bones. So that's, a, that's kind of a surprise for me. So I guess this is a good example um, that I need to kind of break down and then try to build from scratch and then so we can kind of understand this is actually I, I can say this is a little bit of like a hard ways to do things because um, supposedly this can be simplified into single nodes that controlling the bones but this expression node is apparently um, kind of powerful and then it's nice to be able to break this down and then have a look so let's get started um, I think Blender decided to restart itself, so it's okay. Let's uh, reopen Blender. And I'm gonna close Safari, first of all. Sometimes when working with nodes, whether it's uh, animation nodes or Spreadshop, if you know Blender Python, if you know programming, it's actually a lot easier. However, if you're like, if you're like a technical artist and you actually don't know um, much about programming or just still just learning the um, even though as you go along and learning nodes you actually learn a little bit of programming concept here and there and eventually those kind of will meet somewhere so i always say that i i don't have programming background and it took me a while to understand the basics and of the programming and still I'm still learning at the moment but uh, the node based procedural workflow has helped me a lot and you can do quite a lot even though you don't know programming and just by using nodes so yeah let's get started this is an bone posing using expression node save uh, we're gonna switch to animation nodes Animation nodes by default is doing this um, always calculating. This can can be heavy for the machine, so I just turn it off and just have this tree on. So let's start with an armature. By default, we have a single bone. Um, I think we can have more. Maybe I'll go to edit mode and make a couple of duplicates. So one, two, three bones, and we can actually show the name as well. So in the bones, um, show the names. So we have bone, bone 001 and bone 002. And if we are accessing the bones using uh, Python, Blender Python or BPY, we're gonna do it like this. Um, BPY.data objects. And the objects we know is armature. And I will call it I'll put it into variable called OB. If we go inside the OB and then there is actually we can go inside the post bone this way. There you go. So ob.post.bones and this is all the name of the bones. Bone 001, 002. We can access the bone and kind of go make changes to the to its attributes or its parameters. For example, the locations we can we can kind of put it um, in a see like 
it's got offset from the original position if we go in, uh, into the post mode in Blender you can see that the bone position is now 100 I actually wanna make it instead of 100 I wanted to make it 010 so now it's just an offset uh, one unit in the Y direction that's actually if you are if you are using um, Blender Python to do it but we want to do it using script node actually not script node but I'm using expression inside animation nodes so the key here is to create the expression expression nodes looks very uh, I, I found it is a little bit intimidating like this uh, however however we're gonna try anyway it's because this uh, this is like so blank it doesn't have any kind of you, you don't have any idea how to do this but basically what we need is the op the object itself which is the armature I'm gonna write it down using grease pencil so we know that the object itself is gonna be uh, the post bones so we're gonna create an object this is gonna be our input call it obj and the next one we, we need is actually a string type which is the name of the bones of the name of the post bones and one more thing we need is the vector this is the location I think this is the example that uh, Jax looks posted at github and I, I think it's really very really interesting because apparently we can just put in the into expression so obj and then post bones and then the name of the bone and the location equal location non-type object has no attribute pose non-type object has no attribute pose non-type because it doesn't know what the object is um, sub program we actually need a group if I'm not wrong and start adding parameters start with obj and this is and we can specify our object is the amateur plug this in uh, key not found obj dot pose dot bones the name and the location okay the name we need to provide the name I believe string so this is should be the name um, I think it's the bone and one more parameter is the vector And there you go. This is um, the group nodes that's actually uh, post bone location. So yeah, it's a little bit um, a little bit unusual that you have to go backward from the expressions. But if you so this guy, this expression kind of replacing the variable here. You need to kind of think about the variable, the type of data that's you plugging in. Like in this case, let's say this is the OBJ. The OBJ itself is going to be the object armature, and we know that from the from the Python BPY script here, we just need to go accessing the post bones and the name. The name can be the variable, so we know the variable is a string type for the name, and then the locations is the vector, and then ask the expression to look into the location which is a vector data and then by doing that we have these nodes that we can uh, we can control the bones that way see now we have actually this node that you can and you can control the bones um, every single bone is being controlled by the nodes so yeah this is a uh, I believe Jack Jack Luke said that this is kind of like a one way we can do it at the moment we don't have a like a object list or something uh, we don't have like a like a nodes that's kind of accessing the armature and then the bones inside it yet maybe in the I don't know what version of animation nodes but I guess still coming soon but in this uh, for now we can do it this way um, using group and expression yeah it's very very interesting now so 
let's suppose we have like more uh, more bones so one two three and then we make duplicates and now we have uh, bones bone dot zero zero one two three four five so we have we have six bones let's say you have six bones or 10 bones 100 bones and you want to control all of them at the same time instead of keep making nodes like this you can of course um, use something like script node so let's try let's make a script node and this script node just um, gonna do one functions which is just get all bones names um, yeah that's the function so to get all the bones names we actually just need to go back to this guy and I believe just getting the name uh, I think if we, if we use Python we do it like this for I for every bones for every item in bones get the bones name or actually print it out there you go that's all the bones names that's kind of the thing that we need to do using script note so I'm gonna switch to text editor and then get bones here get bone import bpy and the obj, OBJ we know it's uh, our amateur object so bpy data objects armature and the output is gonna be string list because it's a list of the name of the bone so bone names bone names equal a list empty list and then for every bone in object host bones bone names um, append bone name I think that should do the job for us so if we from this um, script generator we just need to access our get all bones names and if we debug this if we are doing it um, correctly we should see all the names of our bones there you go that's our list with uh, six names of our bones all the bones in the scenes um, under armature so now um, so this is this is that one functions and then this is the nodes that's kind of moving the bones let's check it if this is actually working so we know that we need because we have like a multiple list of objects here and then we are using animation nodes and we need to use loop in order to do this so tap W and then loop through bone names so for every bone names for every bone names here we want to process it this is bone name just plug this into that guy now suddenly we have control over every bones now of course this is loop um, and loop can be really powerful once we are kind of offsetting the index and stuff so that's exactly what we're gonna do here um, let's say for the vector here we're gonna use combine vector we know that we can move these bones um, ups and down in Y and we can use frame that's gonna the bones gonna go keep going up we don't want that we want maybe use a sine wave sun sine function here and that way the bones gonna move ups and down there you go that's a that's actually all procedurally done inside animation nodes uh, we know that the way bones work in blender is you have this uh, you have this object level and then you can go to edit modes and kind of move the original position of the bones and you can also go to post mode and here where where the animation is actually happening this is where animation nodes should be able to control 
every bones and the final result will be shown in the object level okay so yeah at the moment it's not so very uh, it's not so interesting here but if we kind of offset it offset this time frame I believe we have delay delay time so and we if we delay the time using the index of every bones we know that the index start from zero and then one two three four depending on how many bones we have plug the index into the frame and then now we have offset yeah so this is like the classic example I know I've done this a couple of times already but now if we have make uh, we have more bones you know suddenly we have control over every bones like that which is surprisingly I think this is a little bit more interesting and it, if uh, if you see here if we have the, the node 3 and then we run it the animation is a bit slow but if you go full screen this this is very very fast um, yeah so that's pretty much it actually with this uh, animation nodes example thanks to Jax Lux for this example I didn't know that we can do this um, let's see at the moment all the, uh, the nodes is using the same color I need to make a uh, different color for this guy color network color so that's supposed to be green because it different is that's a different thing so the whole procedure goes like this this is a script notes okay get get the bones name and we write our own script um, like that this is basically just get the names of all the bones under armature and then the next step is we are using loop for every bone name in the list just pass this name into this group node the group node is just the node that we created and inside this group node is just uh, this expression so this expression actually doing the job for every bone name that we specify simply uh, modify its location so that's actually that's actually the whole um, the whole setup here I kind of like this actually even though we, we have done this uh, in many different ways you can actually make everything into a single script node but this is I, I think very very clear uh, yeah so I guess pretty much it um, if you have any question feedbacks you can leave it in the comment section below um, hope you find this useful and I'll see you in the next video